Hey there, and welcome to another Clockify tutorial. My name is Julian, and in this video, we'll look at rates in Clockify, how they work, and how you can use them to track profits and costs. Let's dive right in. Clockify allows you to set hourly rates and then track your earnings, costs, and profits. There are two types of hourly rates in Clockify. Billable rates for tracking how much you bill your clients for each work hour and cost rates for tracking what you pay your team for their labor. This helps you analyze the profit for each client, project, or team member, as well as analyze the amount of labor cost needed to complete a project. Billable rate is applied only to billable entries and the cost rate is applied no matter if the entry is billable or non-billable. In order to set billable and cost rates, you first need to enable them in workspace settings. There are multiple rates in Clockify, but only one will be applied to a time entry. So the more specific rate will override the less specific rate. The hierarchy of rates goes like this. Workspace, member, project, task, and project's member rate. So the following rates rule, task rates on a project will override the general project rate when calculating its profitability. In case your rates change after you've already started working on a project, Clockify allows you to apply the new rate on activities you've already tracked. When an entry is non-billable, its billable amount is zero. If you need zero for cost as well, you need to set a task or project's cost rate as zero so that the entry will then inherit the zero. If you schedule assignments, they will also inherit hourly rates using the same logic. Plus, you'll be able to see the projected amount and the cost based on the scheduled work. To set the workspace rates, go to the settings and find the field for workspace billable rate. Click on the change button and type in your billable rate. Here, you can select the exact date from which you want that workspace rate to apply, or you can choose to apply this rate to all previous and future time entries. The same goes for the workspace cost rate. Type in the amount and choose when it should apply to your next time entry. To set team members rates, let's go to the team page. Next to each person's name, you have a field to enter their billable and cost rates. Here, you also have to choose when this rate should start applying. And Clockify also warns you about this rate being overridden by a more specific rate, such as the project rate. The process is the same for setting up the member's cost rate. To set up a project's rate, open the settings on a project and type in the rates. Here, you will also be notified that this rate is applied to all entries on the project unless some member has a more specific rate for this project. If you also add the project's time and budget estimates, Clockify will help you visually track the overall progress. The status tab will show how much billable time you've recorded and what's in the remaining budget for your projects. You also get an overview of your recorded expenses and total tracked hours, both billable and non-billable. Moving on to task rates, we first need to enable the workspace settings. You can also choose whether you can have non-billable tasks like meetings or team syncs. Now, when you open the tasks tab on a project, you get the same columns for billable and cost rates. You set them by simply typing in the number, choosing whether it will apply to all past or future time entries, or if it should be applied from a certain date. Here, Clockify will let you know that this rate will apply to all entries on this task, unless some member has more specific rate for this project. This warning lets you know that there are still more specific rates to be set, which leads us to the project members rates. To manage the rates for team members assigned to a project, switch to the access tab and you will have the option to change their rates. Clockify will notify you when this rate will apply to all entries made by this user on this project. If you want a quick overview of your billable versus non-billable time by date and project, go to the dashboard and hover over the chart to see the details. If you want more details on earnings, costs, and profit, go to the report section. Time reports in Clockify let you see the total earnings, total costs, 
and the generated profit, which you can then further filter out by the client, project, or team, for example. First, filter out what you want to see and open the drop-down menu to mark what you want to be shown, the total amount, cost, or profit. The summary report lets you see this information side by side. Detailed report shows you the generated earnings, costs, and profit per activity. In the detailed report, you can also change the billable status of an activity by switching the currency sign on or off. And the weekly report shows you the same information for each day of the week. You can export reports in different formats, customize the export settings, or share reports with clients or team members. For more info on sharing reports, check out our report sharing video. You can define whether the time entries inherit the project's default billable status so that each time entry on that project will be billable by default. To set this up, open the project, go to the settings, and check the billable by default option. The same goes for tasks. If the billable option is active, all activities for this task will automatically be marked as billable. However, these default options can always be changed with each entry individually. All billable time entries and expenses will have an active blue currency. If you want to change an entry to a non-billable one, on the tracker page, you can just click on the currency sign and it will become gray, meaning it's now non-billable. You can change entry billability on the timesheet page as well as by clicking on the three dots menu next to an entry and unchecking the billable option. The same goes for expenses. Click on the three dots menu next to an expense and uncheck its billability. Each user can change the status on their entries, but you can hide the billable switch from them in workspace settings so that they can't see or change it. Here you can also define who can see hourly rates and amounts. The displayed currency sign can be changed. In the workspace settings, click on edit next to the set currency and add a new one. Then choose it from the drop down menu so it stays as default one. Here, you can also add all currencies related to your clients and then assign a specific currency to a client so that all reports related to their projects display the currency relevant to them. And that's a wrap for setting up rates. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. If you want to learn more, you can check out our other tutorial videos on our website at www.clockify.me or check us out on YouTube. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.